Hey there guys, thanks for joining us on another Kickstarter preview. Tonight we're having a look at Spirits of the Forest. This is from Thundergriff Games and designed by Michael Schacht. Alright, so um, obviously we're going to be using prototype components and I'm going to run through an overview with you so you can have a look at what the gameplay is like and what the rules are like and uh, we'll show you some uh, a couple of turns of us playing through the rounds and then if you like it you can follow the link which is in the description below and uh, it'll take you to the Kickstarter where you can get out some more information and uh, if you like it you can back it I'm sure they would much appreciate your support so tonight with me that who's going to be showing you the game is Gary hey Gary and uh, Dave and Santa oh no actually sorry it's Kelty hey. <laughs> <laughs> alright and myself Jason all right, so to begin with, you have four rows of 12 spirit tiles on the board, as you can see in front of you. Um, they all have different symbols on. There are nine different types of spirits. So like this is one over here. They all have a special name, and I'll show you the name in the book, and this is the last time I'll mention their names, as I'll never remember them all. So there you go. You can have a look. So you've got branches, moss, deer drops, mushrooms, flowers, web spiders, Fruits, vines, and leaves. Those are the nine spirits in this particular forest. There are also three power sources, which are sun, moon, and fire. Now, these are basically a set collection game. What we're trying to do is collect sets of those particular spirits and power sources. And the way we do that is, imagine this being the dense forest. And on the ends, right down here and down that side over there, is where we collect the spirits from. So, for example... The first player only gets to pick one tile, but if I was, say, not the first player and I wanted to pick a tile on my, on my turn, I could either pick one tile with two spirits on, or I can pick up to two tiles with one spirit each that match. So, for example, you got this spirit over here, the leaves, I think it's called. It's got one leaf on and a moon, and on the other end of the forest, there just happens to be another one. So, I could take both of those, or if there wasn't a match, I could just take the one. Because you're trying to collect sets. The person with the most sets at the end of the game, so for example, if I have the most leaves, I will score equal to the amount of leaves I have. And everyone else will score zero unless they don't have any leaves at all, which means they score minus three. And we'll do that for every single set, including the moon, the fire, and the sun. It's as simple as that. A couple of the token these spirits will have some favor tokens on. These favor tokens are generally the same thing, so you'll either find spirits or power sources. And there's one other token which we might have, there's extra six tokens, so we don't know what tokens are in the board, in the game. We also have these three gem tokens. These three gem tokens allow us to basically effectively bookmark a, a section. So for example, back to my example, let's say I take this orange here. So I take these two oranges and then I go, you know what, I don't want anyone else to take this card so I put that there I'll bookmark it for myself at a later stage I can come take that or I can move it to somewhere else if someone else wants it let's say Kelty wants it he then has to basically spend one of his to the box which means he only now has two left and then gives this back to me and then he can take that but obviously he can only take that once it moves in towards it because you can only take the end tiles uh, we keep going like this until all the tiles are taken, and then we score up the points. The person with the most points is the winner. It is literally a quick, simple 20 25 minute game. Uh, in a four player game, there's quite a lot of decisions because these gems can lock out quite a lot of people. And uh, obviously, you're trying to collect as many of the sets as you can because minus three points is pretty bad. But at the same time, you want to try and uh, maximize the amount you can get of one particular one to maybe score as many points. So, we're going to get started, we'll do a couple of rounds, and then we'll put the camera back on so you can see how the game flows. We'll be back shortly. Alright, so welcome back. Um, we've had a couple of rounds. Uh, Dave is the first player, and he's about to start in a minute. But I thought I'd just give you a heads up. We've each collected a few tiles. And a couple. I've got a favorite token. Has anyone else got a favorite token? Nope. nope. And we've placed a couple of bookmarking gems down. So, take it away, Dave. What are you going for? I'm going to take up that one. And that one from over there. Right, so obviously he's taken two end ones, and they're the leaves with power symbols on. And, and then he, he has a chance to bookmark. He can only bookmark once per turn. <coughs> if you don't have any more gems to bookmark, then you can uh, move, move it one. I'll take that one and that one. 
You, you can, can him. but you need to explain why. Oh, yeah. oh that one yeah. first, then that one. Because Sorry, yeah, I should. Put... So basically, when you when you take your turn, you pick one from the end. So Kelty has an option from there, 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 or there, and then there, 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 which you can't see off camera, and there. So he's taken the first one, which is a spider web, and then there's another spider web adjacent to it, so he can take that one as well, which puts him on six spider webs, which also brings another interesting. Just one of those could be. Oh, yeah. uh, this number represents how many power symbols there are. So there are 10 spider webs in the game. Kelty now has three, four, six. So he has the majority in spider webs, guaranteed. Uh, the rest of us can only basically not get minuses on spider webs. Right. I'll reserve that one. Okay. So my options I've got a bookmark, 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 bookmark. Oh, those are mine. So I've got some vines over there. <laughs> what did you change it to? Oh, it's the spider webs. Stop it. Don't be annoying. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to take these leaves. So I've got two leaves there. And I will... I feel like I'm, I should bookmark a spider web. Just so I don't <laughs> run, run out. There's one there and one there. But this one's better because it's got the fire on. So you know what? I'll do that. All right, Gary. Uh, nine suits of or nine um, spirits. I'm gonna take the one I bookmarked. Okay. Get a little token with it. The, the favorite tokens are kept secret, so this is the one I've got, um, and you reveal them at the end of the game. So they they the random element, if you like. All right, Dave. So at the moment, you can see what Dave's got. He's got two green ones and two purpley ones. And he's going for a red. Yes. So he's only taking a single spirit. You could, you don't have to take the pair. The only other pair it was there and there, which he would have to sacrifice gems for. He didn't have any gems. I'll take this one. And I'll bookmark that one. Alright. I... Mm, interesting. I'm gonna. Oh, uh, you know what? That's also a double. Oh, that sucked. You know, what? I'm just gonna take these double red, which is bookmarked by me, and that'll end my turn. Okay. I have that one and then that one, and bookmark. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get out my house. <laughs> um, I don't see many pairs to take. Is that it? Mm -hmm. You'll go. I think I'll take the one I. No, I won't. I'll take the. Crap. Gems fish. Crap. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, crap. Yeah. I think it's actually insects, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been calling the crabs. All right. Um, in that case, is that a double one? Is it? There's a double one. And this is also a double one. I don't have either of those suits. And Dave's bookmarked them both. Look at you, Dave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the green one. So I'm going to sacrifice one of my gems to the box and then I'm going to take that which Dave gets his gem back and I get this but then I'm also see that's the favor token I got this doesn't count for anything unless you have um, that suit but I'm going to play my plus one token to get that gem back do you know what I'm going to do Jason? <laughs> you're going to take one of mine? no I'm going to make you walk home <laughs> <laughs> come on in Gary so I'm going to have the one I reserved <laughs> For such a small, simple game, it can be quite cutthroat. <laughs> Obviously, the, the problem with uh, sacrificing your gems too early is that you might run into a situation where everything is bookmarked, and if you don't have any gems left, you can't take any. And you just skip your turn, basically. Alright. 
Alright. I'm gonna have the bunny rabbit. Alright. Back to me. Right, I'm gonna sacrifice this gem again. Back to the box, and I'm taking this one. Oh. <laughs> you can have your gem back. And this is what I got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my plus one. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely walking. <laughs> well, it's only what, about 10 miles? Yeah, it's, just, it's a little bit of a walk, I've got to admit. This is what my collection looks like. So I've got six of the nine suits, but you'll notice they're all double, so I've got none of the power sources, which will bite me in the ass if I don't get any. And you can, as you can see, the forest is shrinking. Alright. I'm gonna take the crab. Do one more round so you guys can see how it goes. I'm gonna sacrifice my coin. I'm gonna take that one. Oh man, I was just about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that means the options are I've got a double orange over here, which you can't see, which I've bookmarked already. I've got a purple 10 over there, and then there's a double crab, double leaf, one that's been bookmarked over there, then these two that haven't been bookmarked. I don't actually have gorilla leaves yet. You don't actually have a power source yet either. Yeah, but... I, if I take the double mushroom, I'm guaranteed to have the most of them. So I will take that. And I will bookmark those leaves. Oh, that means I can't get any of them now. <laughs> you can, you can sacrifice a gem. No, yeah. there's none of them left. The ten ones. Oh, the, the crab, mushroom, sorry, yeah. I the leaves. No, there's none of them ones left now. Oh yeah, there's oh. one. As much wow. as it, it affects me, because it's my card bookmarks. Bring those in. Well, I've got no gems at the moment too. Oh, that's a travesty. <laughs> sure, right. Right. So I'm going to get that before someone else makes it happen. Um. Alright, so you've, had, you've seen about four or five rounds now, so you can see how the game flows. It's pretty simple, on your turn you're just collecting. Um, once we've finished and all these tiles are done, we'll then do scoring, kind of similar to this. This was the round we just played before that, so you can see what the scores are kind of like. And uh, we'll go back to you when we're done, and we'll tell you who won. See you in a second. Alrighty, so we've tallied up the points. Um, and uh, in a shocking turn of events, it's not really that shocking, in last place, I came last with two points. Check yes, it out. I had, I had at one point, I had seven, what is it, seven plus five is 12, 14 points, and then minus 12, because I missed four of the suits, including the sun and the fire, which got me down to two points. As you can see, in my last game, I only got eight, so I clearly suck at this game. Uh, and yeah, then you just suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gary, you got 10 points, and Kelty got 9, so they were 2nd and 3rd respectively. And then Dave with the 2nd win of the night, 12 points again, consistent, look at that scores. I thought, first 6 scores we did, you got 0, 0, 0, 0. I was thinking, ooh, this is not looking good, and then you got a 2, a couple more zeros, and then a couple of 5s at the end, put him into 12th place. And you see, he, came, he won the last game as well with 12 points. So, he's obviously Mr. Consistent. Well done, Dave. You're welcome. Yeah. Obviously, New Year, so there's something going on different here. Yeah, I never win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there you can see a game of Spirit Forest. If you're interested and you like the way it played, a uh, nice, simple, quick game. Well, we've played two games in a row now, and we did that in probably less than an hour. Yeah. Um, so, And it also has, just for interest's sake, a solo play mode. Um, this thing helps with that, so you can play this game solo. Uh, they also have a deluxe version on the Kickstarter, which you can check out. Um, which has upgraded components and stuff. This is what we were playing with, believe it or not, is a prototype. So if you like it, go check the, follow the link below, and that'll take you to the Kickstarter and back it. I'm sure the guys from Thundergriff would love your support. And thanks for watching, and check us out on the next video. Cheers!